All right, so in this video, what we're going to do is start the base for what we're going to be doing for our entire, you know, series we're going to do. I think it's like over 60 videos on Tailwind and using it in React. Now, if you're coming here and you are new to Tailwind in general, you're going to be just fine because whether it's React or standard, you know, HTML, um, all you have to really worry about is in React, it's a uh, class name, and in standard HTML, it's class. Like the rest of the rules should apply. The installation is a bit different, but not incredibly different. So what I'm going to do here is start the process, and I'm going to go ahead and create React applications. We do npx create React app, and we're going to call this, we'll just call it Tailwind, and I'll do some fancy editing, and I'll see you all in just a moment. So now that we have this done, let's go ahead and move into our projects. We're going to do CD Tailwind. Now I'm going to hit DIR and it may be LS for you if you're on an Apple or Linux based uh, operating system. So let's do DIR. We could clearly see that we're inside of here because the files match. Now, if you see this deleting Tailwind right here, there was um, a goof up I made right before I recorded this. And Windows, sometimes I, I don't mind it, but sometimes deleting stuff inside Visual Studio Code is like the worst. So anyways, now that we're here, what we need to do next is install, and I'm gonna take this from the, the browser, and we have npm install hyphen capital D tailwind post CSS auto prefixer here. So let's go ahead and run this. And then the second step to this now is we're going to come in and we're going to make our init file. And that's uh, npx tailwind CSS init hyphen p. Do I know what all these hyphens and stuff always mean all the time? No, but good documentation. Sometimes you sh just shouldn't think of it. So now we have this right in here, which is pretty cool. So that's pretty neat. And so what we need to do is we need to add some paths to this file. And once again, this is from the documentation here. So I'm going to highlight this and the documentation is going to be in the link below. Um, all you really go to or go to is the Tailwind website and just search for installing in React. So now we have all of this right here. I'm saving it. Awesome stuff. And now what I want to do is I want to go into my index.css file because that is being loaded into like the root of the application. And so what I'm gonna do is delete all that in there. And then I'm gonna be adding in these at tailwind directive things right here and base components and utilities. So that's pretty cool. So let me go ahead and start this up and we're gonna get to writing some brief tailwind and then in all the subsequent videos, I'm gonna show you how to do, well, most, I would say 90% of what the library offers. So let's go ahead and do npm start. Or should I say npm run start. So now I have this right here. And this is my application. But we don't want this to run at all. Well, we want our app to run, but we don't want any of this junk in here. So let's go ahead and go down into app.js right here. Let's remove everything on the inside. And if we check this, we have to delete everything at index.css. This is app.css. So let's go ahead and just, let's just remove all of this in here. We'll remove the class name. And then we should be, you know, pretty good to go. So let's come in here. We have a div. We could keep the div. And then let's do a h1. And this will be hello. But you see, we have this tiny little hello right here. Well, that's no fun, right? And if you notice, this is an H1, but you see that it's really tiny. If this was standard HTML or just React or whatever, it would be quite sizable. So even if you're like, oh, did I install it right? This is a good indication that like text looks a little different than it typically does. So something is overriding something, right? And so we have this, and let's come in here. We'll do class name. And let's do something like text hyphen. Let's do 3XL. 
Let's do font. Extra bold. Let's do... Uh, what else can we do in here? Let's give it a text hyphen. Let's give it a, this bright ass orange right here. And let's hit save. And we see that we have this thick 3XL H1 style um, text right here that says hello. And if you've made it through all of these steps, you have now successfully installed Tailwind on React. And in the upcoming bazillion videos I've made, uh, I'm going to show you how to use most of the library. So like, share, and subscribe if you appreciate what I'm doing. And I'll see y'all in the next video.